welcome my fellow followers of chaos to the first episode in the brand new total war rome 2 emperor edition parthia campaign so yeah sorry guys that i uh can't couldn't play dei um it royally messed my game up so we're gonna be leaving that for later now that should be special though and also i'll probably be better with dei at that point because uh kind of got my ass kicked when i tried it because uh, the new st the new stuff. But anyway, Parthia. Uh, playing on hard difficulty. Because we're part of the Eastern Empires, we have secret police, which is increased defense against agents in all provinces, which is awesome. And we have great marksmen, plus 25% ammunition for all units, which is also awesome. So we'll be able to shoot at pike units and stuff more for longer. Uh, we also have minus 25% recruitment cost for all cavalry, which is amazing. And minus 25% public order penalties due to other cultures, which is also amazing, because there's a lot of cultures right around you. If we look at the... Victory conditions, you can see we have 90 settlements that we need. Uh, six provinces, which is th uh, this area right here, and Italy. Jeez. Excuse me. And 180 units in total, and 60 mercenary units. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the campaign. Yes, let's get right into the campaign. Lord, you wouldn't believe the trouble I've had with this. <laughs> First, the DEI campaign didn't work out, of course, because DEI broke my, almost broke my computer, honestly. It crashed, like, really bad, and uh, that's no fun. And then, I recorded a few episodes of this campaign with small units because of DEI, because I changed it. Because I put the unit size on normal for DEI, because the units on normal are, like, bigger than ultra on this. The time has come to establish Sorry, I'll shut up. a new and great empire in the East. War with Fosava is inevitable if you're to consolidate your position. However, patience is advised. They have no love for their Seleucid masters, and allowing them to rebel first will ensure that they receive no military support from their overlords when you strike. Taming the northern tribes may buy you the time you need. Alliances with other satrapies are a possibility, although you should be wary of limiting your expansion options. The decision is yours. All hail the new Parthian Empire. All hail the new Parthian Empire. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, <laughs> because of DEI, I set the, uh, the unit size to lower, or like uh, medium or something like that, or low? I guess it was low because the units were like 40 men, it was stupid. And uh, I didn't notice that for some reason until I got a few episodes in and I got really pissed off. So this is it. We have larger unit sizes. There we go. It's finally all right. Good lord. Uh, so what am I going to do? I'm going to put these units oh, into this army. But I'm also going to take some of these out. Because we don't need that many of these uh, crappy horse skirmishers. So then they're going to go back there. And these guys are going to recruit some horse archers. Can you get four? No. Uh, this spy is going to join this army, and basically we're going to wait a couple turns for Parthava to betray the Seleucids. And uh, if they could take this unit from uh, this unit, this uh, settlement from the Persians, that'd be cool as well, because then we could sweep in and take it for ourselves. That would, of course, be quite nice. Uh, for our first technology, we're going to work on social organization, and yeah, like the man said in the uh, little intro, talky talk thing. Uh, I'm not going to limit my expansion options. I am not going to be allying with any of the client states of the Seleucids, or the Satrapies, whatever. We've broken free ourselves, and we will stay that way. No longer will we need the help of others. Um, so that's everything for this turn, I think. Uh, we'll just secure promotion. And that put us up to 64%. Excellent. So we will end our turn. So once we start the war with Parthava, uh, I quickly want to get an army ready to fight the Aryans as well. Because um, they tend to ally with the other broken client states. Uh, no, I'm not joining your war against the Karazmi. No, thank you. Adahe and the Karazmi. And also, everybody broke from the Seleucids, so... That's my cue to go attack Zedricarda. I don't need the Dahe involved. There we go. I don't need to fight that, honestly. 
uh, the Parthavians send down an army. But, um, yeah, right now it's only a few units. Hopefully they attack Raga. I'd like to take that. Uh, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. When I played this by myself, they did. But um, when I was recording last time, they did not. Which was quite irritating. So we're also going to get a few more horse archers, because horse archers are OP. And then we're also going to send this general this way. And he's going to... Actually, um, we'll get one more unit of horse archers there. And we'll get two here. We only have 88 upkeep, so that's worth it, honestly. And we have a little bit of money. We could upgrade this. That would give us more tax rate. And some food. Sure, let's do it. We'll end the turn. Hopefully, the Parthavians attack Raga and take it. So I won't interfere with them until they attack it. Or if they, of course, come down to fight me. But they usually do try to attack it. Oh, I think they attacked it and lost. We'll get moving. Yep, they attacked Raga and lost. That sucks. Um, so we're just going to put these guys on the border. And then these guys we'll also put on the border. Uh, Susia has, what, six units? Yes. Honestly, with these units, I could probably take them out. But just to be safe, I'll get uh, two more horse archers. And that should be good. Yes. Now our spy leveled up, so we'll put more cunning on him. That way we can work towards poison provisions. And we'll expand this city and get a pit mine. So we'll get more money. Excellent. Uh, we need to do this so we can get more money, and we'll end the turn. As you can see, I'm quite used to uh, dealing with the Parthavians, so I know I pretty much know what to do exactly in the first few turns to ensure maximum success. Nope. Okay, they return to Hecatompolos. That's fine. We'll besiege them. Nope. Okay, come on. Don't break my game. There we go. Uh, so these guys will lay siege to Hecatompolos. Of course, we can't win this in a siege, so uh, we're going to have to wait for them to come out. And, of course, this army can now go attack Susia. And we definitely don't need to fight that. So there we go. Uh, this general leveled up, so we're going to do the same thing that we did with the other guy and give him better range and stuff. Then uh, these guys will attack this army, and then Parthavia will be destroyed. And then we can immediately turn our attention to Arya. Um, have they already al allied themselves? No. So, 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 maybe it would be the best idea to um, declare war on them. That way, yes, yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to declare on war on them immediately. Oh, Bactria start is already at war with them. That's not good. They that might distract them, and uh, Bactria might sweep in and take it. That's not what I want. Not at all. And I can't move. Uh, well, Bactria is probably going to take Merv. That's not a good thing because Bactria, uh, uh, as it is, is already hard enough to fight. Oh, this should be interesting. Uh, let's end a turn. Although, because uh, Arya is already at war with so many people, maybe they won't ally with anybody. No one will want to be their friends. Maybe. Okay, so Bactria didn't take Merv, but they're probably on their way. So, honestly, I want to get there before them. There's probably already an army out here. And uh, we'll have to deal with that. Um, we're going to be besieging a lot, so let's actually get... Let's actually go straight for this. Two, three... Okay, so it's going to take quite a few turns. But uh, we'll get some good technology done. But uh, we're going to be doing a lot of besieging in the beginning. And uh, I want to lose as little men as possible doing that. 
So, yeah. Uh, what are we making here? 50. Both of them get 100. Um, what What is the better stuff? Oh, this actually gives you two types of wealth. So, okay, so instead of 50, you get 100. Uh, that could be cool. Sure, let's go for it. Anything to boost our economy in the beginning, we'll take. Uh, I really hope Bactria doesn't take this next turn, or I'll be quite upset. Um, oh, I should have declared war on them. Crap. Uh, Parthava is probably going to attack us this turn. So that will be the first battle of the campaign. And here... Oh, no. One more turn, I guess. Celebration of Fire. Excellent. One more turn? Yep. No problem. Uh, we'll go for Furtiveness. Ah, they didn't take it. Excellent. Well, I'll take it. Damn. Of course they allied themselves with Sagarsha. Hmm. Well, we have to, so. Yep. Sagarsha joined them. That's not surprising. So we'll take Merv. And uh, we'll have to focus very quickly and take out Sagarsha as well. Our chances have gone up due to the attrition that they're taking. So that's good. And next turn they'll attack. Um, so I imagine since Sagarsha just took this, uh, they'll come up this way. So we're going to have to be smart here. Um, we already have a bunch of units of horse archers, so that's fine. Uh, let's get more campaign map movement and more archery, archer related stuff. And then let's get some of this. Um, we could increase this. Yeah, they're happy. Let's do it. Get the most money we can. Do that. There we go. The most bang for our buck. And now this turn, they will attack. The Parthavians, that is. There we go. Okay. Uh, just so we don't lose too many guys, we'll fight this. Although, <laughs> who knows, we might lose more fighting this than what we would have. I don't think so. The Battle of Hecatompolos, 271 BC. Parthia versus Parthava. I still love this army name, the Warriors of the Fire of Fires. Like, <laughs> what kind of name is that? It's hilarious. Oh my. We have four units of these horse skirmishers and four units of uh, horse archers. Basically, I only use these guys once... Um, there's no other there's no other ranged units because um, they're very good against cavalry because they're javelins of course and they uh, they're really good against they're especially good against like pikemen and stuff so I'm gonna keep them back uh, group them group them and that should be fine so there there's the first army oh what is even in it Eastern slingers horse skirmishers levy pikemen. Where are the skirmishers coming from? Did I say skirmishers or reinforcements? I don't know. Either way, they're coming in from the back. So we can very easily uh, just run in here. Oh, they're actually running right in. Okay. Okay, we took out a few. Okay, this is interesting. Oh. The Medean cavalry is charging forward, so let's get some uh, heavy shot in there on them. Oh, my guys are just letting them get shot to pieces. Okay, we're killing a few of them with the heavy shot. That's good. Well, I definitely don't want you being caught by the... Uh, Pikeman. There we go, we killed him, but yet his unit isn't routing somehow. There we go. We'll try to take out those guys. Horse archers, we'll start shooting at the levy pikemen. I'm 
You get these guys shooting at the levy pikemen as well. That way they'll do like double the damage. Oh, we can actually uh, charge these guys. Get rid of those archers. Oh, now the other enemy archers are uh, shooting at us. Oh, those aren't archers, those are slingers, rather. Okay, let's draw them further into a trap. Yeah, shoot them on the way out. That should be good. Okay. Start shooting at them. And then they run away. They're trying to bring me towards their... Uh, towards their archers. Now these guys are sh chasing us. There we go. We took down a few of them with that volley. Excellent. Oh, what is this? Those damn eastern slingers. Oh. Take out those guys. Honestly, you could just charge them. Okay, we took down a bunch of those eastern slingers. Oh, just uh, just shoot those guys again. There we go. Whole unit, whole unit destroyed, basically. We still didn't kill those guys. Jeez. Whatever. Just leave them alone. We're losing more men than I would have wanted, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, they should replenish relatively quickly. They should replenish quick enough to uh, be able to fight the Sagarshans. I believe. I love how their guys are so much faster than mine. That's ridiculous. Like, get out of here. These guys are ridiculous. The enemy horse skirmishers are always so much better than mine. I don't know why. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And they don't, they don't break. Like, good lord. Just break already. There we go. Finally. Okay. Oh, a little bit rusty with these. Apparently. Which is weird because I was just playing it. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, let's see if we can sneak in here and get rid of these enemy slingers. Shoot the crap out of these pikemen. Yep, we got them. Doing a nice bit of damage to them. Uh, these guys should break because of this charge. Yep. There we go. Excellent. Oh, now everybody's routing. Or wavering. There we go. Victory. It could have could have went a lot better, admittedly, but whatever. Um, I don't need everybody firing and killing each other. There we go. Didn't even need to use my general. Although I probably should have. He would have done a lot more damage to units like that, but whatever. Decisive victory. We didn't lose that many. And what we did lo lose was mostly on our cheap... Uh, horse skirmishers, so no big loss. They can be easily replaced. So no problemo. After the war is over, make alliances. Hmm. Yeah, that is that is a uh, wise, wise a uh, a wise saying right there. There we go. Proverb, whatever. Proverb.
Oh my. Did we did we kill enough to take it over this turn? Or oh, well, it's about to be our turn anyway. Parthava's pretty low on the list of factions, so whatever. Excellent. Kill them. Oh yeah, we're probably gonna have to wait for our turn. Yeah. Now we'll have the option right here because we captured it. Yet, yeah. occupy that. There we go. Parthava has been eliminated. Excellent. Now we could build our heavy horse studs, but maybe we should uh, save the money. Now I am going to get. Oh, you can't move because you're in this army. Never mind then. Um, we're gonna get the extra movement and the archer re stuff for you. Uh, does Bactria hate me? Hey, they actually tolerate me a little bit. Hmm, interesting. I could become, I could try to become friends with Bactria. Or not. Nah, no, they don't really want to. Well, I expect them to declare war on me at any second, probably. Would not be surprised. Okay, we're getting plenty of Cav back every turn, so that's fine. Um... Let's get some slingers and another unit of horse archers. Honestly, these guys are so... I don't really need a bunch of units of these, so I'm just going to merge them. And uh, How fast are they going to replenish? Five turns. That's fine. Because uh, horse skirmishers are only useful for the first few engagements, really, and then all you want is horse archers. That's all that really matters. Um, so if we act quickly, um, Artaquana could be taken. Uh, Merv is very happy, so let's just move out. Oh, hello. <laughs> Interesting. Full stack. Okay. Uh, ooh. That's really expensive, but... It'd be interesting. Um, honestly, I think I should get some of these. These, uh, these mercenary Parthian horse archers. They're very expensive, but... Um, I would be I would be comfortable taking on this this army with them. Let's do it. We apparently oh that's so many slingers holy cow okay. But I mean like we're gonna have to take out this army eventually, so there's not really much we can do. Uh, I will retreat though. Uh, they'll attack me of course, and that way. They'll always be moving, and I'll be able to screw them over. Oh, that's a lot more than I thought there would be. Um, maybe getting these per, uh, mercenary Persian cavalry would be nice as well. It's going to chew up my economy, but it would help me. Parthian spearmen. Are they any better? No, it's the same unit, just a different name. Yeah, they're like more than double the upkeep for a kind of crappy unit. So we have 16 units, they have 20. Four units, five units of cavalry, and six units of uh, skirmishers. Not cool, man. I think some dedicated melee cav would be useful, so I'm going to go ahead and get them. So uh, we'll be in better shape to be attacked now. Let's end the turn and see. We, oh, no, we can issue an edict, of course. Um, let's get the tax so we can get a bit more money. Now, let's see if the Aryans are brave enough to attack us. Ooh. Yep, okay. Um, I will. F well, there's, I have to fight it eventually, so I might as well. Uh, let's do it. If I can take out their skirmishers, that's it, basically. And their cat, well, their cav, of course, as well. But um, they might just yolo charge their cavalry, so I might be able to kite it. That is a lot, though. Basically, I just need to be smart, or try to be, and uh, take out their general, and the rest of the army should crumble. Oh, this is interesting—an interesting battle, uh, battlefield. 
I'm going to keep my infantry up here out of sight, so that way they won't be noticed. Uh, I'm going to group them up. I'm going to keep the general and uh, melee cav together, and then these guys can do whatever the hell they want. Okay. Where's the enemy general? He's over here. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, we're going to immediately switch to heavy shot. You're going to have heavy shot as well. As you can see, their cavalry are already reacting to mine. That's a lot of stuff. Um, but if we make them think everything's down here, they'll avoid my infantry. Oh, hello. Not unless they spot my infantry. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Oh, hello. Oops. Wasn't really paying attention, of course. Uh, we're doing good damage against their general, though, so. Ah, slingers, run. We are picking their general apart, which is all I... All I really wanted. Oh no. Oh hello. What is this? Oh Persian Cav. Great. Oh there goes my infantry. Oopsies. Oh no. My general has been captured. <laughs> uh, the enemy general is very damaged. Let's try to get rid of him. What are you guys doing? Come on help him. Of course, it's a, it's a very tough unit, so it's not really going to affect them that much, but still. And there's a bunch of their slingers. Okay, there we go. We took out their general. Or, well, we're about to, at least. Uh, did we take out these guys up here? No. I thought I told you guys to go attack them. Go on. Oh god, there's more of them. What's my general doing? He's not dead. So that's a good thing. Oh lord. They've completely caught up with my guys. Not good. Okay, let's get out of here. Sacrifice the mercenary Persians. Go. How are these guys not destroying these Cav? Good lord. Let's see if they can get out of there. I doubt it, but might as well try. Ah, run. Okay, let's get these guys going around. Levy pikemen, gross. Oh, those guys are... Oh. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys over here. Oh, we can do it. We can catch those Persian archers and destroy them. Ah. I keep forgetting to move these guys. Just fight them. Fight them to the death. Okay, I'm going to group these guys up. Oh, we need to... They finally realized that I was shooting at them. <laughs> Apparently. Um, you don't need to shoot. Just charge in. Oh, move. Run! Good, we shattered that unit of archers. That's excellent. Uh, switch to flaming shot. Oh, not you, though. Just start freaking them out or something. Oh, they're gone. 
This is a shameful display. Here we go. Those horse, horse skirmishers are finally gone, and we finally killed those guys. It only took a unit of Eastern Spearmen to do it, but whatever. Okay. Let's keep moving. Ah, oh, Eastern Slingers. Oh, they're like really slow, aren't they? Yeah, they're exhausted. Our men flee the field of battle. Oh, what happened? Shameful display. Why weren't they running? Oh my god. Skirmish mode is on. No, oh, that's stupid. Why does that happen sometimes that they just don't they don't move? Okay, get out of there. See if you can take out a few of these archers as well. We've taken out all of their cav, so we rule that part of the battlefield. Okay, get out of there. You're about to be charged by... Oh, jeez, look at all that skirmish for fire. Get out of here, slingers. You dirtbags. And these two units... This is way more microwing than I thought I'd have to do in this battle. Sorry about that, guys. It's a little sloppy. But uh, we are getting the upper hand, at least. Why aren't you guys actually moving? Like, go. Don't just sit there and get shot at. God damn. That's so annoying. We have discovered the, enemy's hidden units. the enemy has hidden units, apparently. Okay, that's not doing nearly as much damage as it could be. Oh, they still have so many units. Good lord. Okay. They're still all so tired. Okay, we need, we need to get their units tied up. That's what we need. We need to get them sitting still so we can charge them. Because we're not going to get anywhere at this rate. We'll let my cavalry rest for a little bit. They're very tired, exhausted. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Yep, that's fine. They probably have infantry in between here. Or maybe not. Okay, that's what we need. Everyone's still super exhausted, though. Apparently, waiting a little bit didn't help them at all. Oh, well. They're still faster than foot units, so. Yep, that's all their infantry engaged, so let's get some nice charges on their ranged units. There we go. There we go. So if we can make all these units break, that'd be nice. Although we're about to be charged by Eastern Spearmen, and we don't really want that. Nobody wants to be charged by an Eastern Spearmen. There we go. We Oh, I thought we shattered all the guys in there, but no, we didn't. We shook them up, though. Come on, break. Jeez. Now I need to hastily get out of here, although it's probably not going to really work. Okay, there we go. Why would you go that way? What what order was this way? Oh, I'm going to lose so many for that. Stupid, stupid movement. Okay, there's still a bunch of units coming in. Uh, we, have, we have tipped the battle in our favor now. Which is excellent. Uh, oh, those guys are still alive. Get out of here. You buggers. This is definitely going to be a Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Okay, they're wavering. Would a cavalry charge break them? No, that was a really shitty cavalry charge. I wouldn't really call that. E I wouldn't even call that a cavalry charge. That was just... 
cavalry walk. There we go. Nope, it brought them out of wavering. Oh, I hate it when that happens, it's so stupid. So we just lost so many. Not cost efficient at all. No, I don't want you charging in. Some of them must be out of ammo, yeah. Just break already. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> Most definitely a Pyrrhic victory. Oh well, this is probably the only Aryan force, so... I'm not too concerned. Jeez, what does it take to break these guys? Holy cow. Okay, they're wavering now. Can they break, please? Let's get flanking with these guys. Jeez, we've hardly even used any of our ammo on these guys. Oh my goodness, they're brought out of wavering again. Do they have any ranged units left? I don't believe so. Man, you got like... Six units of archers shooting you in the back. There you go. Now we gotta get them over here too. Oh, you think you're gonna catch me? Haha, -ha, you are mistaken. Okay. We're taking way more way more time with this battle than I would have wanted to, but oh well. Oh yeah, a bunch of shots right in the back. Come on. Why aren't they firing? Oh, I don't have fire at will on. Oh my god. That's why we haven't been using any <laughs> any ammunition, because they haven't been firing. Oh, that was dumb. Yes. Oh, wh what are you doing? Go over there. There we go. Don't charge into the pikes either. Okay, there we go. Everybody's wavering. And they're broken. There we go. A very horrible victory. <laughs> if I'll be uh, brutally honest with myself, that was terrible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, though. I didn't lose, so... That's pretty much the only thing I can say is I didn't lose. It's definitely Pyrrhic. Um, we lost a few units. But at the end of the day, all that matters is a victory, so... Can't complain there. There we go. I think we killed enough. Costly victory. Yep, it was Pyrrhic. We lost 942 men. Oh boy. But we crushed the Aryans, so... I guess that's okay. If I, if I managed my cavalry better, <laughs> if I had more eyes, if I had more control over all of my units, probably wouldn't have lost so many men. But sadly, I can't do that. So yeah. But a win's a win, I'll take it. It's just the fact that this army is pretty much screwed now for the uh, Sagarshans. Yeah. Uh, we'll survive. We'll survive. Ah, uh, Leonidas quotes, yes. Yeah, screw you, Xerxes. You suck. So obviously we didn't wipe the army out. They're going to have... These units of skirmishers left and a new general, which kind of sucks. Yeah, get out of here. I'll kick your shield. Get out of here, you whimpering dog. Okay. There we go. That should uh, crush the Aryan military force, so we should be able to invade uh, Artakawana, no problem. Artakawana. Sagarsha wants peace. He will not look to end it another day. Ah, uh, should I accept that? It would be, it's my chance to take some more lands, but if the Bactrians declare war on me, I'm screwed. Oh, 
it's it's a good chance. It's a high. It's high. Become my client state. No. Uh, become my. Oh, I can't become allies with you. They'll take a trade agreement. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't want to become friends with these guys. Well, actually, then again, I don't need uh, these lands. So you know what? You know friggin' what? Let's do it. I'll accept that. And you gotta give me some money. Oh, they don't want to give me money. Give me that money. Shit. <laughs> well, that just screwed us. That just screwed everything over. Um, so this place is not happy enough for... Oh, it is not happy enough for us to leave. Excellent. So, uh, our spy. Oh, no army spotted. That's a good sign, at least. Um... This army got ravaged. If we were to even attack these guys, we'd probably get we'd probably lose a bunch of units. So you know what? Um, let's merge everything. Yeah, look at that. Look how much we look at all the units we just lost. Uh, there's no point in keeping these because they're just taking up money. Uh, let's go attack them. Yeah, they ran away. Let's attack them again and get rid of them. No, we're probably going to lose. Oh, we didn't lose our uh, Eastern Spearman unit either. That's excellent. And do they have another army? No, not quite. But we just ju we did just march into uh, reinforcement range of that. Oh, good job, me. Um, would Sagarsha take the peace of treaty again? Yes, they would. Now speak as you will and try to be interesting. There we go, they accepted it that time. Excellent. So now we can see what they had. Oh, they didn't even have that much stuff. I could have took that. Well, there's always next time. There's always later, rather. Honestly, I don't even know why I pushed. I can't take Articuano with this. I'm foolish. Um, so you know what? Let's uh, start start moving over this way. Oh, I'm going to take attrition. Damn, that was stupid. Ovel. Uh, so let's end the turn again. Because I know Bactria is going to declare war on me eventually. Oh, see, look at that. They want to. They put an army on my border. They're getting ready. Those buggers. Oh, this guy's going to start recruiting. He's going to re start recruiting, eh? But they have new units. Great. Get these guys marching over here. Um, oh, come on. I don't need that. Um, might as well get some more units. And these guys. Uh, you go back to Merv. Because Bactria is definitely getting ready. Um, our economy is doing pretty well. Once we take uh, Articuana, that will be even better. Um, so you can actually start going back over here. Because now we don't have to worry about Sagersha. They still don't like me, so they might declare war on me again for all I know. We need to take out Arya as soon as we can. Uh, so we'll end another turn. Sorry about all the turn ending, but um, that's just how it is. Actually, they don't declare war on me. Okay. Well, that gave me a little bit of time, but that made them stronger. While also making them hate me more, probably. So this army up here is going to have to get ready to fight the Bactrians. Excellent. So you're almost to the border. This army will also be leading the charge against the Bactrians when we finally go to war with them. Uh, do we need six units of these? Not really. Three units of Slingers? That's pretty good. <laughs> should, we, should we get three, <laughs> three units of Archers? Hmm. Yeah, screw it. Why not? 
Um, get this guy moving. Can we see them? Nope, just barely. Oh, jeez. Well, the Karazmi are definitely going to wipe out the Dahe. Oh, the Dahe actually took Bukhara. That's cool. Good on them. Okay, we're getting 26 men per turn. Two per turn. Wow, amazing. Hmm. If we ever get another slot, um, we definitely need to build a... Actually, you know what? Do I want to finish off... No, you know what? No. Instead, I'll get units in this army. Because I need them there more. So next turn, we'll be able to attack Articawana. So let's end the said turn and get to the next. Hopefully Bactria doesn't declare war. Ah, okay. You never know with Bactria. They uh they attack you at the worst time, it seems. They know. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Thank you for not attacking Merv. That would have been bad. Although they probably didn't even have the range to attack it. Yep. Did the Dahe just get wiped out in one turn? Oh no, we just can't trade with them because they're all the way over there. Makes sense. There we go. Bye bye, Arya. Oh, we're gonna lose 12% regardless. Whatever. Excellent. And let's get our spy going over here to Bactria because I don't trust. I don't trust them. Um, let's get over here just in case Arya de decides to be cheeky and attack Merv. Oh, we don't have enough movement to get over there. Um, and then we'll do this. There we go. Drangiana. Are you at war with these guys? Yes, you are, because you're still a satrapy. Eee. So you probably hate me now, right? Bactria, act Bactria actually likes me? Why? War with Arya. Hmm. That's interesting. Welcome, welcome. They wouldn't want an alliance. How much do they like me? Thirty-five. They don't even want trade. So what the hell? They don't want anything. Get out of here, Bactria. You suck. I don't know what we're gonna focus on. Um, I know we have to take Scythia. That's one of our required provinces. And Bosporus or Bosporus, Bosporon, Bosporus. Uh, we need to take both of those. So we have to go up here eventually. So that might be where we go first, depending on what's even going on here. Jeez, I'm confused. The politics of this area is messed up. Yeah, you better get out of my land. What the hell are you doing? Thank you for wiping out that army, though. That one unit army. Hello. I knew they would attack. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> wow. Nice of you to attack. Uh, let's sally out. Oh, another battle this episode, guys. Jeez. Two units of cavalry, and uh, these guys should be no problem. You can just shoot all my horse archers at them and freak them out. Freak a freak a freak them out. Oh, they have four units of cavalry. Of course, they bought mercenaries. <laughs> Who would want to be a mercenary for the Aryans? They don't have money. They don't even have lands anymore. Because I took them all. <laughs> Um, oh, uphill as well. Wonderful. Let's get all these guys over here. Here. And then we'll get all these guys right there. Um, can I set flaming? Yeah, I want flaming. And then all the cav in the world put on flaming shot. There they are. Where are the elephants? There they are. Spooky, spooky, scary elephants. Let's see what the enemy wants to do. How they want to play it. Because if I wanted to, I could kind of like suicide my horse skirmishers. And oh, hello. The enemy horse skirmishers are coming for me. No problem, mate. I'll take you up on that challenge. Let's get ready to shoot. All my units shooting at once. Fire! Oh, look at that. A storm of arrows. 
didn't kill anything except for one guy. Nice. Oh, their skirmishers are going to be in range. Let's get out of here. Yep, they're already firing at me. Oh, it's Persian Cav. Wonderful. Start using heavy shot on them. Oh, they're coming. Okay, I need these guys to help out. Oh, God. Don't get backed into a corner, you fools. Okay, they're sending in all their cav. Not exactly a good... Oh, shit. Get away. You pesky mercenary Persian cav. Don't let them back you into a corner. Go. I'm telling you where to go. Override the stupid skirmish system. There. Now take out more of those Persian cav. There we go. We're doing decent damage there. Nice, nice. Took out a bunch of these. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Devastation. So that should freak them out. Now let's start targeting their horse skirmishers then. Oh, they're approaching my infantry line. Get a heavy shot on them. Jeez, how are they still in this fight? Go away. Oh, here come the enemy elephants. Freak them out. Oh, are they uh, are they rampaging or? No, oh, they're getting ready to trample my guys. Is what they're doing. Oh, they've run berserk. Okay, good. Just get out of there and let them do the work. Because I would imagine they'll they'll turn on their own guys. Okay, there we go. And they're all gone. Excellent. So that worked out good. All their cavalry's gone. Actually, well, except for these this one unit of horse skirmishers, which we can easily take out in a second. Oh, look at that. Crushed some of their skirmisher cav. Good. Oh, the bunch of them died. Wow. Oh, they're walking through their own men. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no, they're still going for them. They're going for my guys, Rod. Oh, those poor elephants. They just got destroyed. Um, we can go target those enemy pikemen. The, well, the general. Oh, look at that. The elephants are running through the enemy skirmishers. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Let's get a bit of a flanky roo going on here. That's my term. People are allowed to use it, but you must pay me a dollar every time you say it. Yes. You must you must pay for the rights to use the word flanky roo. I'm going to trademark it. I promise. Those elephants are still alive. Oh, nope, they're uh, they're ghost elephants apparently. Oh, oh, it was too good of a chance. Oh, yeah, that unit's uh, that's kind of weird. Oh, use whistling shot, freak him out. And all the rest of them use uh flaming. I should spook him. Scare the crap out of him with whistling arrows, yes. No, there's not enough there's not enough morale shocks going on. 
for that. So it's not really even, there's no real point. Oh, that was weird. Go get them, boys. Oh, never mind. Get out of there. Uh, just go back on flaming shot. Go back to your day job. Where are you guys going? Oh, we did. We did freak him out. That we did. Oh, don't! No, 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 no. Okay, this guy. This guy ran out of ammo. So get out of here. Run. Oh, charge them. Yeah, that's cool. Like I give a fuck. Uh, these guys still have a little bit of fight left in them. Actually, go after and go after those skirmishers. What am I doing? I'm being a damn fool. Okay, they broke. They're gonna shatter, or, or what? What are they going to do? There we go. Uh, so we're chasing after them. So that means all the range capability is out the window. And they're all wavering. Okay, good. Victory for me! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, they're all breaking. Let's see. There we go. Chased all them down. Start shooting at the enemy general. See if they uh, see if they break a little bit. Oh, picking off people every every little bit. And uh, they should break too eventually. Oh, he's out of ammo. Actually, there we go. We have one. There we go. Arya lost. Uh, we didn't lose too many of our men. That was good. That was real uh, uh, micromanagement right there. Not uh, that crap that I showed you earlier. So hopefully this redeems that earlier battle. Is dead. Wunderbar. Oh jeez, there's still a bunch of these guys left. Cut them down. Give them a trimming. And... Good enough. Because we're about to end this episode, because we only have two minutes left. <laughs> 207. That's actually more than I thought. It was mostly on our archers. Which isn't great. What did even got? Yeah, these pieces of crap got the most of their kills. And then these two units. Mm. Eh. Meh. Sorry. That battle was 10 minutes? Wow. It certainly didn't feel that long. Weird. But yeah, I mean, cool. In uh, in one episode, we almost completely control Parthia and uh, whatever the other friggin' province is called. I don't know. So I think that's pretty good uh, progress, honestly, for, for this episode. And uh, hopefully you guys think so, too. Okay. There you go. Yeah, get out of here. To the wind with you. Oh, it wiped them out. Okay, cool. I thought they were going to survive for a second there. Huh. Actually, I guess they can't get a new general because they don't have any provinces. So maybe that's why. Excellent. And it was successful. So I think we got some money for that. But anyway, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this awesome brand new episode of... Well, brand new episode. This awesome episode of the brand new campaign for Rome 2. Uh, I've had a blast playing this episode, and uh, hopefully you guys have had a blast in, uh, watching. Jeez, I can't talk today. Um, so if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a, uh, a like and a comment, as always. And if you're enjoying this series, make sure you're subscribed, because this is going to be coming out every single day of the week. Uh, this has been Overkill as always, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.